curtains are fine. Okay. We are live for four seconds. Okay. I'm going to share that crap out of... Uh, I'm going to put up a banner. It's the Rumble, 7 p.m. And here's her phone number. And while you're getting organized, I'm going to remind people that the single most important thing you can do is zero people. Where did I broadcast this to you? Five people. The single most important thing you can do to help us is to click the share button. I did wrong last week. Do you have a copy of it? Uh, can you check the YouTube channel? Viviana's going to join us. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Are you really okay? Because I haven't been kind of, I haven't been okay lately. I've been kind of like wiped out and stressed. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I'm pretty wiped out and stressed. Why'd you say okay? Because I think we're taught we should. <laughs> Who taught you that? Life. <laughs> also, I don't like talking about stuff because I can feel the tears coming. And it's like, if I start talking about that, I'm just gonna be like, bah! and people don't like when people cry. So, um, what, so what, what's one thing that makes you feel better? Um, hanging out with you makes me feel better. Okay, but like, <laughs> what's one thing like if I if I got hacked off by a larger bird, what would, be, <laughs> what would be one thing that makes you feel better? Um, For me, uh, it's traveling. I find like, and I don't mean in France, <laughs> I just mean like for me, just getting up and moving around, uh, sometimes... This is bad, but sometimes just driving in my car yeah. and um, walking yeah. on the train. The we'll throw a mask now. But. Walking outside is really good. And is that why we got snow pants? Yeah, we got snow pants. <laughs> Did you hear that? The swishing of snow again. pants. <laughs> it reminds me of being a kid having the big snow pants. We should start a list of things that make people feel better, and then we can just share that list. Again. Oh, right, because we were thinking about getting goggles. Yeah, I'm gonna start making it more normal to just wear goggles outside. Mm -hmm. For my face. For my fa. For my fa. Fa. <laughs> Warm fa. You're up. All right. There's six people with us. Hello, six people. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're just hitting. Sharing everything. This is so nice. How are you feeling? We're uh, gonna spin the wheel. This is the 388th time we've gotten together. <coughs> Live is working. Live is working. Can you turn the volume down on your phone? Uh, my phone's not on. Yeah, but could you turn the volume down? Okay. It's off, but. Silent? Yeah. So no, I think maybe that feedback loop is coming in from one of our phones. Even if we're not on the live feed? Mm, well, I don't know. That's why I thought it'd be great if you turned the volume down. Look at our really nice new microphone. Yeah, actually, if we can get some talking feedback about the microphone. We've got Amanda, Kelly, or Danger. Could you give us some feedback? Can you hear us? How's the sound? Oh, Okay. First piece of inspiration comes to us from Sight and Insight. This is our favorite human. Alexander Elliott wrote this. Um, he was visiting um, the Prado and visiting with his wife and um, looking at all these beautiful pieces and reflecting on how do we look at art. Um, and this is from the chapter called... The Ark of Man and His Animals. The form heightens the tension. One can tell at a glance a good deal about what the statue represents. Although a city 
man, at least, would be hard put to say whether the animal was really a lamb or perhaps a goat. The sculpture's details remain permanently cloudy. It is so roughly, artfully roughly formed, that one cannot be sure if the man is ugly or handsome, clothed or naked, solemn or joyful. The sculpture as a whole resembles not other monuments, but ancient votive statuary. In its ancient models, the goat would be a sacrifice to a god, and the man would be a supplicant hoping for a sign. Thus, Picasso's models were just the opposite of materialistic, and they shape one's second thoughts about the statue. This bronze man wearing a bronze animal through sunshine, storm, shadow, starlight, winter, dawn, and summer, again, around the years, what is he really? Is he worker or seeker? What is man? This question stands at the heart of Picasso's life work, and the very question shows that man with his animals has come a little distance after all. Oh, Alex, I could just keep reading you all night. So, hmm, there's lots of ideas in there. I like the idea of um, being roughly, art artfully roughly done, not being able to tell if something's ugly or handsome, clothed or naked, solemn or joyful. I like that a lot. All right, then second piece of inspiration comes to us from, oh, the Raven. Actually, it's funny, the Raven, and then um, Lou Reed. Um, they worked on, so an ambitious combination of Edgar Allan, uh, Allan Poe's poems and stories and Reed's reinterpretations of the same with a few classic read songs, such as Perfect Day and The Bed, integrated for good measure. So poetry bridged the centuries to provide a unique vision of beauty and horror for the dawning 21st century. Could you sing Perfect Day tonight? Yes, that would be, ah! that would be really nice. You know what happened? My nimble shoes are off. I know, I put on my nimble shoes when I went home, actually. Did you? Oh, this is funny. Of course, well, it's like the raven. Um, and this is, Leave no black plume as a token of the slime thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit as though as those have quit before. Take the talon from my heart and see that I can care no more. Whatever mattered came before, I vanished with the dead Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. All right. Oh, I'll finish it. But the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, silent sitting, above a painting, silent painting, of the forever silenced whore. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow to the floor. I love she who hates me more. I love she... Oh, I, I love she who hates me more. And my soul shall not be lifted from that shadow nevermore. The raven... So, and then the third piece of inspiration. Nothing went crazy with the sound. Comes to well, us. Well, I haven't joined in yet. Okay. Brace yourselves. Mute. Nothing went weird with the sound. I haven't talked yet. All right. The third piece of inspiration comes to us from um, Joseph Boyden. It's called Gwen Jack. Okay, are both our sounds? I need to know if our sound's working. Sorry. That's okay. Should I keep reading? Just a second. Any problems with the sound? Any problems with the sound? Okay. It's it. Michelle says it all sounds good. Sounds good? Tia says it sound good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds, sounds good. good. All right. uh, we got a new mic. How does our sound sound? Is it breathy? Is it breathy? No. <laughs> Is it breaking up or how's it sound? All right. So third piece of inspiration comes to us from when Jack. I can see more bad weather coming. Walking has made me a bit warmer, but my clothes are wet. Nindeed would tell me to get them dry now and build a shelter till I can feel a bit stronger again. But everything is so wet. Gaywin, no, my map. 
I reach into my pocket and can feel it tear when I touch it. Gentle, stop. Take shaking hand and try to take map out proper. It tears. I shake so hard. It's ruined. So this is a story of Chani Wen Jack escaping from the residential schools. Um, and this is from the story of the, this is from the perspective of the rabbit. So, wonderful. Um, those are our pieces of inspiration. So if you're making art at home tonight, feel free. Use those or do your art. And send Did you already talk to Amber? Pictures. Um, I didn't talk to her, but I got all the pieces from the, um, Amanda, I got your pieces. Amber, I got your pieces. Um, uh, Andrew dropped off a piece. Um, I got Alvin's piece, pieces, so yeah, I got the pieces from the cage. All right, so I'm going to start going through. Going through the pieces of artwork. All right. So number one. Is that us? No, I think we're good. All right. So yeah, number one. Let's Matthias, I'm just gonna unmute your mic, and then if you want to chat, just click mute, okay? Unmute. Oh. So our first. The spray cans are brutal on the mics. So our first piece, oh actually, um, I have a question. when he comes back, ask him how his event went, because okay, I think they had, come and talk to us. Had, they had their second event. I just clicked in. Uh, uh, my second event went off amazing, like awesome. double, double, double amount of artists, double amount of love in the room, um, but also, I know, I, I, I don't know how you do this every week because I think I've asked like the first last month, like the day after. Yeah. I like, literally couldn't do anything for like the next however long. I just took the whole day. Just we're, we're, we I do know. pretty well. There's a there's a really bitchy part about five minutes before we get started. <laughs> My friend Kevin just lived through it. We're all in counseling <laughs> afterwards. But the most amazing thing is one time when we went to the late night at the plaza. Uh, we were sitting in the audience. We were there early because we are there for part of the show. And I remember hearing somebody screaming over the speaker, Where's my dongle? And then um, somebody else went, What the hell, dongle? And that, that's exactly what we're like. So it was reassuring to have somebody else in the world. Jess, I love you so much. I love you too. But like five minutes before the rumble, nobody wants to see this ugly. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. And I, I can't, you know, I'm so breathless from like, the community wants it to be more often now, and it's like that's to be exciting. Do it till it kills you. That's the plan. And hey, Matthias, what do you think of Jesse's haircut? I like it. It's a little yeah, she, she now, hey? a really brilliant hairdresser, don't you think? <laughs> well, did you cut the hair? Yeah. Probably, probably good looking and handsome. <laughs> and, um... At least he likes it. Just, just medium now, Rich. Eh? Oh, it's medium. You hear what he said about your hair, Jesse? Medium. That's pretty good. Better than bad. <laughs> well, I, I called it like a medium, you know, like a paint medium. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. This is my table. Thank you, Matthias. I'm glad you got through another um, show together. Or all done. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to speak very well today. But yeah, and really, then the yeah. Home is in December 12th or 19th. I'm still kind of working that out because I have like my finals in that kind of time. Oh, yeah. Like, I need to figure out which way you're better. <laughs> Hey, Matthias, I need some feedback on the um, screen in the top right. Can you see it? Are you in the same order as me? Uh, top right, is it, um, where is it? Right. Can you point here? Yeah. Other side, other side. Yeah, there. Yeah. Top right. Uh, that's my um, all hands on deck painting. Yeah. It's quite large. Uh, I'm getting mixed feedback on whether I should keep painting into it. I want to keep painting into it, but do you like that white space? Like, I, okay, I think I feel exactly the same way. I feel like I like it, but I I would also keep painting into it just because that's the person I am. And I, I know I could stop. It'd be fine if I stopped, but... Uh, right, like it's fine now, but... Yeah. Now. But I, I might wreck it by going too far, but I kind of want to wreck it. You know? Do it. 
That's the risk we all need to take. Want to know something special about last week? Huh. First time in eight years I didn't get a bid on my piece. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing because of Jess's reaction, and then that just made me like, I don't know how to take that. I know. You know, like. Well, I, I start with pretty low bids. <laughs> exactly. Um. Now it's just a busy night, and I think maybe because I painted Jessica as a uh, witch with nails in her dress, uh, maybe that might have weirded people out. But um, we love it. We have it at home, but. Um, I bought pieces before, but this one I got stuck with because I got zero bids. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a bid on my all hands on deck painting. Yeah. A lot of pressure. I'm just sharing my, my, my uh, vulnerability with you. That's nice. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to start showing pieces. I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that a, is that a euphemism for shut up and get out of the way? No, I'm saying. I'm Are you supposed saying. to be painting? Aren't you, aren't you an artist that paints things? Yes. Oh, you're going right into the space that... Yeah, no, I need to get at, out of here. I'm trying to tell you. Come here. I'm going back behind. And you just, just move this. If you this. could stand there. No, because you're trying to go there. I'm going that way. Then I'm going to go here. We have a deal about this cable. We're not going to cross these cables. I know, it's fine. Mm. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm out of your way. I feel like this is going to be a long night. Okay, so number one is a note home. By Amber. Um, opening bid is $30 for the gnome home. Number one. Very cute. I think it's polymer clay. Yeah, acrylic and mixed media. All right. I don't know why there's so many chairs. I put all the chairs there to Okay, so I'm going to start putting the pieces pictures up on the event page and some people were having trouble finding the pictures that I post so I'm going to make sure that I'm doing it on the right place because that would be a silly trick to play on you all right no Oh, number one, number one by Amber Callback. <clears throat> no home. Opening bid thirty dollars. Mixed media. Number two. Oh, Alvin and Amanda, you did them together? You are so sweet. So, these are two. These are two pieces, uh, diptych, diptych, by Alvin and Amanda. We have the cute little teddy bear themes going on from Alvin's style, and we have Amanda's really sweet, gentle coloring. Opening the bid, ten dollars for both of them together. Do you need anything, Rich? Uh, just no more. Okay. Number 
two by Alvin and Amanda Ferguson. Um, 17 viewers. Amazing. Right. We got 16 viewers. <laughs> the pressure was too much. All right. Hi. What you doing? What uh, What are we doing today? Video games. What are you, what are you doing with like? Grade three, how's that going? Uh, that is the most, it's more boring than grade two. You don't like it? Grade, Why don't you like grade three? And grade two is more boring than grade one, and grade one is more boring than kindergarten. What do you think grade fifty is like? And kindergarten is more boring than preschool, and preschool is more boring than no school. Kind of goes like this. Grade one's like a little bit hard, grade two's harder, grade three's harder, junior high's harder. High school's harder, university's harder, your first job's harder, your first promotion's harder, your first business is harder, you retire, it's harder than you think. It's like a video game though. You know how when you start a video game you can't really you can't really do anything, but then as you get better, it's like it it gets harder but you get stronger like that. Do you get stronger in the video games? No, the game gets harder and you get better, right? Well, sometimes the game gets harder, not always the game gets harder. Sometimes you can put on a setting that makes the game harder. Or cheat codes. Like cheat codes. You know, cheat codes. What's cheat codes? Like when Oliver and you put in those numbers and you got to have the stuff with the Star Wars and the Lego. Oh, yeah. Cheat codes. I wish I had a cheat code right now to get through life. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. I did. It's all in your backpack, my love, in the front pocket. Okay, so number three comes to us from our friend Pedro. Please, uh, it was Pedro's friend that dropped off all his pieces. Please let me know if I'm saying your name wrong or if your name isn't Pedro. Um, I'm not sure if I love this or not. All right. Number three. Um, oh, and actually, look how fitting this is, that it's called number three. Three eyes, three dots on the shoulder, three dots on this shoulder, number three. All right. Do you need a chair? What's up? Um, yesterday, I wanted something sweet, so I bought cinnamon buns, and then I didn't want any more cinnamon buns. So I brought you cinnamon buns. I love you. <laughs> I love it. They're maple flavored cinnamon buns. In a major way. <laughs> I was like, oh, $4 for cinnamon buns? Yes, please. Thank you, Superstore. <laughs> and then I had one and I was like, now I don't want any more cinnamon buns. <laughs> You're like, I'm good. I just needed one. I don't know where I put my special blue. Did you get everything out of the bag? Did you check? No, I'm looking for my special blue out of the school Oh, the blue. Oh, that's my coffee. All right. So that's number three. Okay. And number four comes to us from our other new friend. I know. So this is one of Viviana's friends. Um, Dad, friend's Wait, dad, what's his name? Raid, Raid or Rage, Raid. Oh, I thought you said dad. No, it's Viviana's friend's dad. Ah, his yeah. dad would be a really funny name. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a missed opportunity on my part. <laughs> I should have named Felix dad. <laughs> dad, will you come up here, please? Dad, What is dad, this about? Dad, dad. <laughs> okay, as you can tell. Not sleeping lately. So number four is not by the artist named Dad, but is in fact a dad. Um, and last week he had this beautiful landscape piece, and now this beautiful respite from all of the chaos. 
If you need a rest, this is your piece. <laughs> Opening bid, um, $30. Lovely. So this is oil on canvas. And this, our friend here is, um, he's a computer. Did you say, Viviana? See, like, people give me information and then I mix it up. So it's probably going to be like something else. But if he might have, he might be like a computer physicist. No, a computer. Perhaps he's actually a computer. Maybe he's a computer and he painted this. I'm Hello, like, I apologize to everybody. <laughs> like, the last one I said, this is by Pedro. Unless your name's not Pedro, please let me know because his friend dropped the work off too. So this is what happens when. Um, our lovely friends are helping you out, and then I don't get, fr I get super confused, but, like, I appreciate that, like, everyone is so helpful, and they're all dropping off their friends' work, um, uh, and I, I appreciate everyone's, um, patience with me when I... Is Viviana on? Say names wrong. I am on. Oh, mm -hmm. hi, Viviana. Let's, let's clarify the name. <laughs> so, just as we thought? Dad. It's Brad? Brad? R-A-D-E, but Brad. Oh, that's good. Rad. His name's Rad. That's Rad. That's Rad. Yes. Yes. Little known fact, that was my nickname. Isn't it cool? No, it wasn't. <laughs> so it was. It was. Sorry, uh, people yourself. are talking, Vivian. I can't hear you. How? Why is it so quiet, my love? I turned it down because of the feedback. Oh, but I can't hear Viviana. Sorry, she's trying to tell me something. Go ahead, Viviana. He's a retired um, engineer. No, not engineer. Uh, like, like some weird geologist, I think, something like that. See? Yeah, okay, like a, yeah, wonderful, geologist. He's not anyways, he's like this magic with but, oil painting, but, too. But, 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 but. Wonderful. Yeah, it's really cool. So this is number four. Well, that was the thing, I think, because it was spelt R-A-D-E, like you said, and then I got confused. Oh. Number yeah. four by... Uh, the white lady, you know, like the ghost lady. Mm -hmm. What I'm attempting. my creepy Mad Hatter last week? Yes, I did. <laughs> kids, I had to leave it at school because the kids are freaked out by it, so it's just sitting in my room staring at me. <laughs> and... No rest for you, children. <laughs> yes. Sleep is for playmos. And here we have another amazing new painter, um, well, new to us, Jennifer Waters. <laughs> Um, so in the Rumble House back when we'd be like, "Yay!" Big round of applause um, when new people would come down. Um, so this is Jennifer Waters, and we have North Glenmore Park. Um, Store. Sto I also can't read. Don't tell my boss. They have me teaching English. Uh, <laughs> Storm, oh, Storm Pond? That makes sense. Um, Storm Pond, sorry, Jennifer, if you're watching, I love you and I love your painting. Um, Jennifer Water, so North Glenmore Park, Storm, Storm Pond. Um, so this was painted this summer. It's so beautiful, Jennifer. Um, opening bid, $200. So we have this lovely landscape, reminiscent of Monet, no? Would you say? Yes, I think so. Um, opening bid two hundred dollars for Jennifer Waters. Oh, Jennifer Waters, and she painted lovely water. I was, like, <laughs> and I was like, no. I'm I'll, really like, I'll let Jessica do it. <laughs> <laughs> I am oh. going to be pulling all of those tonight. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> number five. Number five by Jennifer Waters. That's not how you spell that. What's another underwater animal? Crocodile. Otter. 
I have otter. Manatee. What's that look like? Beluga. Manatee. You know, for some reason, I don't really want whales in here. Oh, but a narwhal? <gasps> you need a narwhal. Yes. I was going to say unicorn, but narwhal makes more sense. <laughs> They're the unicorns of, of the, the sea. sea. Yeah. <laughs> um, crabs. This you have a, crab. This is a manatee. Like a sea cow. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> you may be the only human being that's ever said that. Right? <laughs> no. But many of these are so cute. They're like little sea pigs. <laughs> so cute. They're like moo. <laughs> this has been like a challenge for this painting. Is that like, I like how they're most of these things I've had to paint out of my head? Because they're just nor not orientated. Like I need at this point a manatee's ass. <laughs> If they I mean, have one. I think I'm going to use the seal bud. Weird. But when I was a kid, we ate manatees. You ate manatees? They used to hunt them where we lived in Guatemala, like on the coast. I've heard that. Actually, one of my Guatemalan students that's in our ELD program was talking about that. And the, t the ELD teacher and I were like, you eat manatees? They're like gentle giant creatures. What are you doing? Easier to get, I guess, if you're hunting them. Oh, it's like you eat what you can. It's, it's, I mean, a third world country. Yeah, totally. That's totally no, fair. Bad. It's not like we had to, but yeah. it was available and people hunted them a lot more than I think they're under, under, in the endangered species now. I'm not sure. But, I was watching a program in Miami about them. Wow. Yeah. Wait, how big are they? Like how big? Are they bigger yeah, than Satan? Do you have a walrus? Are they bigger like than the Satan? How big is Satan? Satan's like I drew him the same size as everybody else. Yeah, they're quite big. I was just telling you how big the manatee is. I don't think they're just like um, human size. Uh, it's at least 20 money. bananas long. <laughs> You know, Where's our banana? Had the banana measurements. I was like, I'm so confused as to why I understand this so well. I know. I don't know where the banana is currently. So, they um, they're they're the ones that sailors mistook for 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 um, mermaid. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cause they like sing. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Yeah, so, Taylor so, thought that it was a mermaid. And you know, they were probably drunk. Yeah. <laughs> the Taylor's in there. That's really cute. Yeah. Probably drunk. Yeah, the manatees weren't drunk. Yeah. Well, no. That's, <laughs> that's, that's siren song of the manatees. <laughs> All right. Number six, a cute little delicate paperweight. Do you have a manta ray? <gasps> ray? I don't, thank you. Yes! You're good at this. <laughs> I like sea creatures. You better have a starfish. I have several starfish. I kind of have been using starfish to fill in the negative space. That's a good manatee. I have yeah. actually turned into a walrus today, very quickly. Is there a in there? What? It's totally different. A conch shell. Oh, a conch shell. Or like a nautilus, I said the other day. Nautilus. Well, there isn't really anything. I like that. Thank you. Uh, and somebody was rec re recommending coral because of its importance to the sea. But what somebody? this is. Was that you? <laughs> somebody now. A slightly, okay, I see how a slightly unimportant person. Okay, everybody that's picking on me is going to have to go home soon. Number six is by Andrew Farley. <laughs> Opening bid twenty five dollars. <laughs> do you do you have an octopus? That is based on six. They're on driving a spaceship. They're so smart. Yeah, did you watch Octopus Teacher? No. But you should. I mean you can do whatever you want. But I can't octopus you don't teachers want whales. What? Sorry, I'm you said no, like you didn't really want to put whales on them, but I like them. Well, I put a moose in. A moose? I guess Same moose can swim. They no, can... whales eat moose. But 
But they can also, but what? moose, moose, well, they do. Killer whales will eat Oh, well, moose. killer whales will eat anything. They'll but eat moose can dive up to 20 meters and they, yeah. eat, they get eaten by whales and that's why they want to put whales in. That's really thoughtful, Rich. Okay, I like I'm just gonna have to move a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna have to move a little bit early from the because I have a meeting with like my art collectors for opening up a shop really soon. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be called Plain Folk. Uh, it's gonna be probably in the Greenwood area. Uh, so I just went to that meeting because they have a bunch of stuff like that. Um, also, we have a couple of that I have a solo show in the past at the time when we saw Greg alone, which is, you know, soon I need to find it on Instagram, which is my handle on here. Do, do you have a polar bear? No. Very cool. I don't believe in polar bears. <laughs> well, none of us are going to get That's sad they believe in you. <laughs> None of us are going to get to believe in them. So I'm going to go. Right, they're, they're, I think polar bears are mythical. It's not really sad. My brother I told me a story. I lived in Thompson, and Churchill is only like 200 kilometers away. And I never went. Oh, my, my brother told me a story about when he was working up north. Yeah. And he was like texting in his truck. And he, his truck started to like move and bounce. And oh, Rich, do you, or John, it? it's Sean and FaceTiming you. Yeah. Rich, do you have your phone? Okay. And he was, there was a polar bear bouncing on the front of his car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, number seven comes to us from Theo. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. So, number two, this is by Theo Nelson. Originally dated December 1st, 1977. Then it was destroyed by toothpaste people, number five. November, oh, October 24th, 1984. Now it is panels, flowers, September 16th, 2020. So, this piece has been reworked and reworked and dated over and dated over and dated over. So if you get this piece tonight, you get... Bless you. How old is 1977? 49 is 41 to 43. Good math. 43. 43-year-old painting that has been painted over a few times. You get history and stories and math. Number seven. <laughs> I really like these flowers, Theo. What about an elephant seal? I'm running out of space, actually. I gotta be careful because Theo told me he liked it with the white space, and now I'm super anxious about redoing it. Opening bid $30. Oh. oh, what's that? Yeah, you know what I'm going to put in there is um, whatever kind of uh, clownfish. Would Angler you, fish. Would you even see a clownfish? Anglerfish? Clownfish. Oh, they have to be an anemone. 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 There we go. Anemone. Do they have any enemies? An anemone enemy? Yeah. Um, clownfish live in the anemone to protect them from enemies. Oh, yeah, Nemo. <laughs> I learned about in, that in Nemo. In and out. In and out. <laughs> oh, hey, this is beautiful. Oh, how about a blobfish? Oh. oh, the poor blobfish. Do you know they look completely different underwater? And then when they come to different um, pressure, that their skin expands because they're, they're usually a pretty fish because the pressure of the water is like keeping them together. And then they get brought up to... It's kind of like us. Surface, <laughs> and then it's like... Everybody here had a rough day, in case you're watching. And we all love each other very much. We do. Much love. Just tiny. Googling really now what a blood fish actually looks like. <laughs> no one knows. You have to be deep, deep, deep. 
Oh, I think there was a video. Vid- I was watching a video. Look, watch the video. Yeah, look, they're perfectly fine underwater. <laughs> you bring them up and they go. I mean, it's not pretty. <laughs> They might not think we're pretty either, Kevin. <laughs> it's okay. It's allowed. <laughs> so this is by Anne Christine. Look at this beautiful big conifer tree. I accidentally put a um, what are these called again? The ones with the lights on them. Anglerfish. I put an anglerfish between Satan's legs, and I feel like I'm telling a story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I think as soon as you do paint all these characters, you're telling a story. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Okay. So, so. Vic here was asking about bidding on it okay. and then um, it's a different big but um oh yeah okay just maybe you take over that phone but if any bids anybody bids on this piece okay. let them know that i'll be tinkering with it for a bit so they don't want to set a price down until they know how it ends right yeah Sh- do you want me to tell them that you mean yeah i think i did okay. but i don't know yeah still working on it yeah you're good Okay. What was the best part of your day, Ruby? Mm, be Tuesday. Oh, ow! Oof. <laughs> In my one of my reading groups, yeah. um, this little girl that I've been working with, um, and I kind of spend some extra time with her because she is 13, and she was at about a grade one reading level and today she read without pauses and scripts a grade four book that's amazing and she was so proud of herself Kevin was the best part of her and I almost cried that's really amazing Um, yesterday yeah we got a lot of nice feedback yesterday yeah it's hard to have a good day, have to go to have a really good day after a concert right we cleaned up I guess oh you had the online concert yesterday yeah Jesse, the best Hi! Do you need me? Oh, it's Jane Hopper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number eight, and Christine. <sighs> number nine, by Stephen. It is not on the canvas. There's, I think tragedy struck this one. <laughs> but it's a lovely oil painting. Opening bid, $40. Oil on canvas can still be stretched. Number nine. I love stuff. I know, it's so lovely. So, oh, and this is like, looks like, um, wow. Sorry. This one's fun to look at. All right. Jesse, what was the best part of your day? Um, I had to think about my day. Yeah, I know. I I don't have no I can't I can't right now I I was in okay um I don't know <laughs> the jury's still out um there's some pretty cute costumes this is the first year in ten years of teaching that the kids have been allowed to wear costumes to school because like they had pity on them because it's COVID (laughs) and so there's some pretty cute costumes the kids um not at my school oh no oh I thought it was everywhere maybe I shouldn't have said that then if they were (laughs) no it's just it's really dependent on your admin yeah how do I turn it I can't turn it it was in the Facebook thing I think I am not doing this very well what did 
I, would I be able to ask you to just hold this and then it the because it's oil it's like um it's reflecting oh. all the light yeah. <laughs> sorry I, I'll just get the piece in thank you so much awesome thank you um, <laughs> to do what I'm here for to watch the people page and look at the paintings so number nine by Steven. My love, can you uh, um, let me know when you have another video? Because I need to get more pieces from the back. By your eyes, by your heart, not by your mouth. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to eat a painting? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, like when you're tired, like I drink out of my paint cup all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever tried to eat out of my painting. Seems dangerous. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I haven't either. My mom did that once with her, like, when she was making pottery, she grabbed... Like her, water. Mm -hmm. her clay water. Oh, everybody does that. That's so good. <laughs> that's normal. But, but grabbing a painting, I think, would be beyond. Like that's like where you start to wonder if you need to check yourself a little bit. Like <laughs> I nearly drank a makeup cleaner last year while we were doing makeup. <laughs> good. Luella had a story about that. She um, tasty. put like contact lens cleaner in her eyes or something like that. Like, she was doing an eye wash bottle mm. and put like caustic stuff in her eye instead of. I hope that's a story you can retell. As someone who has put my contacts in after not leaving them long enough um, in a contact solution and have had burning eyes from contact solution, I can attest to the fact that that is a really painful experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who left? Oh, wow. Oh, Matisse left? Oh, it's beautiful, Viviana. This is the this one is I wanted to get today. Oh, wow. While the kids oh, were doing their yoga, yoga. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, quiet, quiet kids. kids. They must have been so focused. Oh, there was no yoga. Oh, I am. 
I got them all with the box to keep them for the and it's nice and quiet. That's beautiful. That's such a good idea. This is for you, my love, number 17. Yeah. Yeah. For that one? Oh, whichever one you want. Let's make that one. Huh. Or am I also somewhere at number 32 sometimes? 17? Do you want to be 17 and 18? Sure. Mm -hmm. I lost 19. The number, not the painting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, more pieces. <sighs> okay, number 10. <clears throat> 10 comes to us from Haley. Lovely Safari Sunset Acrylic on Canvas Board, $20. When you're missing those warm evenings, you could look at this lovely painting. <laughs> Every time I open to take a picture, it shows your cam my camera roll. And I like, I tried to take a picture of like my cool masks and like, I was going to take a picture of me dressed up today, I took a picture, and my face looks so unimpressed. I was like, I just started laughing, I'm like, oh, that was just my face today. Oh, okay. Here we go. That was just me today. Well, that took forever. <clears throat> Are you done? I think so. Oh, can I see? Yeah. Oh, Rich, it's really beautiful. Do you think I should fill in that white spot or? It's so hard. Oh. It wants to be filled oh, in. Oh, 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 stop. I hear a couple stops. <laughs> <laughs> It's Don't really it. interesting, Rich. I really like it. Because you're also wondering, like, because is that like the light coming through the, the water and everyone's gathering? It's called All Hands on Deck. Yeah. It's when shit goes sideways and everything has to, every, even Satan is coming to fight whatever this horrible thing is. Everybody's pulling together. There's no more bad guys, just the one bad guy. And so, do you, th like, even Herbie the Love Bug is here. Herbie? Um, so I think... I think I'm done. I think that serves as a really nice space, like the abyss that that, like, the unseen is there, and they're all gathering. Right? Like, yes. there's... It's really beautiful. Okay. I love how you've gone, like, around each edge, too. Like, they're coming. Like, it really feels like everyone's coming. I love that there's octopus riding spaceships. And I love that there's a caribou. And I love all of the people, um, like old school deep sea divers with all of the old school equipment. And my one of my favorite pieces, which is the octopus wrapped around my guy on the far side. His face is like, ooh. Yeah. It's really cute. That's something you could put up and never get tired of looking at. Yeah. Could but you I take mean, a... Ultimately, I would love it if a kid ended up with it. Right? That's right. Yeah, like a whole life to look at it. <laughs> a really big imagination. Um, could you take a really nice picture of that for me after? Because I want to and send it to me. Yeah. I think you have the photo. I have my phone. Oh, I have it. Uh, Sorry. The right stuff. Number 11 is groovy. Little peace sign on the bottom. 
$10 starting bid by Haley, a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, it's so nice in the background too. The pour that you did is really cool. All right. Are you, did you put a number on your um, beautiful embroidery? I haven't yet, no. Let's do that. Okay. What am I? Oh, actually, I did 16, and you're 17, yeah. 18. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that works. piece that we've had for a while from our friend. Was it Ben? Maybe. I think it was Ben. 2016. So this is a really cool piece. We've had it for a long time. Four years. Um, and it's like there's glow in the dark sections. Uh, and like this is a really fun, like, just because of experience, a really fun bathroom piece. You turn off the lights when you <laughs> close the lights off, or like when you just turn the lights on, close the lights off, you get this really fun glow in the dark surprise. Number 12, by Ben. <laughs> Number 12 by Ben. Mixed media opening bid six dollars. Number 13, our friend Keanu. His friend is making these really cool mini boards to spec. So they're handmade. Um, and yeah, like all of the parts of us, uh, um, it's, not, it's not a snowboard, surfboard is here. And there's also the fin that you can stick on and also a hanging device. So, so this is um, opening bid $15. And then if Jan is here, we need to um, get in touch with your friend so I can send him the moolahs. Okay, it's 8.02. How many pieces have we gone through yet? Uh, 13 only. 13. I'm okay. a little slow today. There are 16 people with us. Put up a gentle reminder to tell people that the single most important thing you can do for us is click the share button. <clears throat> Way more important than sending donations or love, even pizza, although we do like pizza. Um, Click the share button. That will go a long way to keep us open. Debbie, there's an angry face. Jess, can you check on us? Oh, that might have been just my mom. Mama! Sometimes people just click stuff by accident. I'll just text her. Okay. Hey. 
Did I put a number in there? Going crazy. What's happening? Oh my gosh. That is the oh yeah, there, here. This is what I wanted to do. Number 14 comes to us from Matthias. Oh, my love, can you take off the um can't see the artwork with the words? How do I take off the sherry thingy? Do people share? I don't know. And I texted my mom to make sure she's okay. okay. She might just have clicked the angry thing by accident. If you can have all the on a phone, yeah. your phone clicks you touch it by accident. I've done it too, yeah. By yeah, accident. the only thing is, is we work really, really hard for free. And then when people's feelings do get hurt, uh, we go home and we're like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? So we just really want to be careful to make sure that everybody's happy all the time. And it's hard. It's, are, you, are you having a hard time? Well, I'm getting a bit better. Okay. <laughs> we so had, that means yes. I think we all had a rough day teaching today. It's been like a rough year. It's been a rough 10 months since October. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so we're just doing our best. Yeah. We are all dreamers, Matthias says. Yes, we are. Number 14 by Matthias. Fourteen! Opening bid, $20. Yeah, poor mom. She said, bah, no, I was fidgeting with my phone trying to hit share. Sorry. <laughs> well, we like share. And actually, just as you know, we're not we're not trying to encourage you not to click the unhappy button. If you're we unhappy, just always want to check that you're we okay. We definitely want to know. Yeah. We just don't want to make it worse. Yeah, exactly. Like it said at ACAP in the men's washroom, Billy's got zits, but picking off scars. Did you have some pizza? Okay, I had to catch some Pokemon. Yeah, right? Well, I'm told this is a good spot. Yes. I don't know what that means, but I believe it. I believe it. Why is there 18 on my computer? Well, that's your piece. That's for your piece. Gotcha. Can we trade phones for a second? I don't know. What? I have to find the event page. Okay. Did everything work out with that other thing? Oh, yes. Very good. Yep. You can check on that. It worked out very nicely. Sorry, just there's a few. How do you actually hit share? <sighs> Copy link. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, so hi Amber. So there's a look Rick, I have a purple. Oh, that was the purple you guys were talking about before. Yeah. Super cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, house. I used to be able to click share on the video and now I don't know how to click share. <laughs> it changed, everything's changed and I'm an old lady. Oh. oh. Copy, I got it. Paste. 
also I'm going to paste it on the Facebook event so I can find it. Post an event. Share the link. It's good, hey? Yeah. Thank you. Did you read that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. That's why I said yes. I think it was good. I think you're pretty independent. But we, yeah, was it good? I think that worked out very well. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, this. Am I still using your phone? Your both phones. It took me that long to just do one thing. Ah! Okay. Um. Post. So that's number 14. Number 15 is by Travis. A very cool character over abstract. We have the gold piece over the really cool work underneath by Travis. Opening bid $20. All right, mixed media on canvas. Remember figure drawing when I used to use power tools all the time? Oh yeah, while well, we were figure drawing? Yeah. Pretty cute! Not drama. I just get like sucked into the vortex. Okay, so that's number 15 by Travis. Number 16 is by some lady. Lady. This some general lady. Is, can't remember her name either. So this is a common octopus. Common octopus has beautiful skin that can change color and also make horns like me. I can build my own horns. <laughs> so, this is my octopus head. Mm, can I ask you something? Yeah. Were you wearing the owl mask? I was going to put it on for the auction. I'd love that, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't put on my spacesuit. Oh, God, I had so many plans, and then it was like, no, I'm no room for spacesuit. But then I was like, oh, I have this, so, yeah. Okay. Number 16, common octopus. This is its head, and he can grow his own horse. This little, this is a detail. I had lots of fun with his bumpy skin. <laughs> Who should we mute? <laughs> Who should we mute? Who's making that noise? Me. Not me.
Oh, you did. Oh. Okay. I know, sorry. Oh yeah, left feet. Okay. Um, number 17. Do you want to say anything about this piece, Rich? Um, ah, look at the toes. They're so cute. It was inspired by a conversation you and I had about the Medusa sculpture. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Medusa yeah. Sculpture. So we were talking about the Medusa sculpture that was put up in front of um, one of the courthouses. I can't remember the city now off the top of my head. Um, but we were talking about the piece and it's a, a sculpture of Medusa holding and the head nice of Perseus. And that's nice you can dismantle stuff, right? Like, yeah, like I like, yeah, because we have different, like we see things from different vantage points and I really, like, I really enjoy having the conversations actually. Um, so, that, that was a, uh, we were talking about doing something kind of in support of Medusa. In support of the Medusa sculpture. And it led to, um, that's not Medusa, but it was somebody. Who was it? It evolved into somebody else. Maybe that was my Medusa. Right? Like, and it's the idea, like that... It is my Medusa, and she's had surgery, and um, she's living in a poem, and I forget the poem. It, um, you probably can't read it anymore. It's, but it's a defiant poem. Yeah, it's like... It is a defiant poem. It lives in the painting. That was how I was feeling that day. It's like... Sometimes I get really in touch with my feminine side. And then maybe you and I work on something together. Mm -hmm. So that, strangely enough, is more of a self-portrait than it is as a painting of you. Mm -hmm. But it also evolved from a conversation we had about Medusa. And I think I was pushing to make it into something other than Medusa because I didn't want to steal that thunder or yeah. cash in on that thunder or yeah. bend that thunder. And then maybe that was a painting I did how many times? Maybe oh, six? There's, yeah, there's a few it, And it was really good a couple times in a row, but it was cute. And I didn't want it to be cute. I wanted yeah. it to be like... Like fierce. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter how I look. Yeah. And she's not hiding. She's ready to pounce. Yeah, she's watching. So. But I also recognize that that one is not like a kitchen painting. It's not something you're going to put in your kitchen and feel good about. So. It'd be a pretty boss kitchen painting. I don't know. Sometimes there's like <laughs> garage paintings. Like when you're coming home from a bad day and you got a yeah. badass painting where you park your car. Right. That's kind of where that was headed. But I think maybe for the last few weeks, because we're tired, I've been painting for myself a lot more. And those don't always translate into really great sales for work. So... I was joking before about how traumatized I was last week, but um, the truth is, I think we go through phases where it's like, sometimes we're really painting for the sake of healing, sometimes yeah, we're painting for the sake of sharing. Yeah, totally. Are we, are, Viviana, can you tell us, if, are, are both of our voices clear on the mic? We've got a new mic. I don't know what to think of it. You, I think that's muted, my love. Oh, well, I'll unmute her. Viviana, are you with us? I really like yeah, I'm rest, here, here. Can you hear both of our voices uh, clearly? I have a weird sense of deja vu. Absolutely. Can we do the um, doctor's yeah. test? Here. Ready? Yeah. What do you like better, A or B? The dress is really well done. Is B and A the same? This is B. This is A. What do you like better? A or B? Or C. Okay, maybe this isn't the time. Um, I think it's fine. A or B is fine. You sound fine. You sound fine. Same. Same. Oh, there's an O in there. Go wash. House. Right, gouache. 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 
Don't wash out. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Which is not. That's part of the reason I have to struggle with it. No. What I need to know. I've never used this before. I'm not very well to this. Okay. Is that guy there? Number 19 is gone. Number is it? Oh, here, number 20 is here. Number 20 is by Havana Esquerdo. Fragile, which we are all feeling. Here we go. So this one's a piece too with lots of really interesting layers. There's collaged in um, comic books, but there's also drawn in images into the comic book strips and around. And there's this lovely creature being in the center here with holding his heart, his fragile heart. So opening bid is $90 for fragile. I'm painting on the, uh, finish painting one more time. It's probably a psychological problem I have, but I'm going to keep painting on this. Which phone would be good for me to use? Here. I'm just about to opening bid. Okay. Are you able to function on both? Just let that post. Yep. Yep. I'm good. Seems to be working. I like it. find the event page to share more pictures. Has it, how long has it been since we reminded people at home that they should be listening to music? Because <laughs> one thing that we really had going for us here at Rumble House was a pretty decent record collection. Yeah. And then you know what happened? COVID? We started going online. <laughs> COVID's the answer of everything. <laughs> well, now we still have records on COVID. No, but why we can't the, uh, share the music with the people. Yeah, put the music on the YouTube. And so uh, what we've asked of people, if it's possible. I just walked away with that. Sorry. And it's kind of preferable if you even share with us. But we'd love to know what you're listening to. What if I was driving down here but not listening to music? What do you mean? I was listening to spoken word poetry. Who are you listening to? Shane Coison. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I know. I could, there's a couple of his poems that I could listen to. Have you ever met him? Repeatedly. No. Local every boy. time he's been in Calgary, I yeah. have not been. Oh. Every single time. Um, do you have one more um, commercial to put on, Rich? This is not the time. You're busy. Sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, what? I just need to grab more pieces from the back, and I left, and then I remembered I had to come back. I painted a guy running last week. Do you remember? <laughs> that different conversation? Yep. 
Oh, like for me to find to sell? Yeah. I still need to find it though. I think it's at the front. Can I can I put a clicky thingy on? Yeah, watch this one. Hey, I'm Rich Tayru, uh, here at the Rumble House. Just wanted to remind you that we don't ask for any uh, donations or any funding. We haven't got any bursaries or subsidies or nothing. The only thing that keeps us open is if you click, click the share button. Now, I point at the share button for you, but uh, I don't have any hands. And also, depending on what platform you're on, the share button could be up there or over there or down there or down there. But if you could click the share button, Please, that would be awesome. We love you. Thanks. Keep us open. We love you. Bye. There's nine, there's nine reactions and one of them's still your mom. I don't think you can change it once you click it. Yeah, you can unclick it and say love. Well, maybe I'll just keep us honest. Like an angry face there. What do you mean honest? Like, on our toes, I mean. Oh, I see. Like trying our best. You know what I could use today? Some painting by Alok saying, don't worry, be happy now. What was the hardest part of your day that you can talk about online? Jesse? Uh, no, I like the other question better. You're like, what time? What time is it, Mr. Wolf? No. What's your favorite? What's your favorite part of the day? I was talking uh, about that today. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? You know, I never played that because I was the weird kid. And you know what? That was a game where somebody in the game got to decide who was going to win. And everybody else was just purely tortured. Like, mm -hmm. what time is it, Mr. Wolf? And that guy you kicked in the nose last week's yeah. like, it's minus five for you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? And mother, may I? I mean, may not, Rich. <laughs> oh, poor little Rich. What's the problem, child? Oh, Rich. You're a problem to build. <laughs> but not, uh, we love you. Not untrue. Rich, what was the best part of your day? Yeah. Mm. It was a rough day. He was in Men in Black for a while. I did. I wasn't. You were Men in Black. You were for about. No, I was um, one of the Reservoir Dogs. Oh, sorry, you were the Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Does anyone uh, were insert person? We might also have been uh, the Blues Brothers. <laughs> no, um, I told everybody Kiefer was Blues Brothers. Yeah. That you were Men in Black and that I was. Um, <laughs> Um, well, I just kept changing it. No matter which kid asked me, I just changed it every time. Nice. Oh, gotcha. This is by Marta. Believe in yourself. I paint with my past about the future with my present. By Marta. I sent a text message to Kiefer after I saw the picture well, to, our, to one of our many group chats um, with just Here Comes the Men in Black on it. And everyone else was confused, and then I had to send a picture of everyone in the costumes. Our group chat was... Yeah, Adriana would not leave us alone until she had known her pictures. With Suat and Crystal. Do you work with them? No. Oh. We're just in our group chat. Oh, I see. Are they with us tonight? Probably not. What could you possibly do in a semi-lockdown? COVID, and we're fun on a Wednesday night, and we're on the way at the house. And we got number 23. What's something you're doing for to keep yourself self-care? Me? Ruby. Ruby Soho. Play, um, taking my dog for walks and yeah. buying him presents repeatedly, because he needs more toys. Mm. Especially stuffed animals, which he just rips apart and spreads the stuffing everywhere. <laughs> which I'm actually kind of tired of, but he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. 
That in itself is cute. Could be your furniture instead. Uh, he did, um, when he was a puppy in TV, I got new furniture at the same time I got the puppy. <laughs> and so most Wait, of my new furniture what? is wrecked. <laughs> new furniture at the same time she got a puppy. Mm, natural consequences. <laughs> right? <laughs> no more new That'll stuff. That'll teach you to adult better. Right? Okay. And this is a diptych by the Two Peas Collective. Kevin, have you ever considered having a um, pet? I have junior high kids. Yeah. Good. Close okay. enough. Yes. Jump in. Tis true. They are animals. Like sometimes they're cute and sometimes they eat your furniture. I've eaten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they like to bite. They also like hugs. <laughs> That's really cute. I used to tell the grade eights. When I first got my puppy, I was like, he's very much like a grade eight boy. He poops in the corner. Yeah. Bye, <laughs> Fee. We love our kids, just like we love our pets. <sighs> All right, I'm going to admit something to you. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. I'm scared of the next step. Don't be scared. No, I am. I'm, uh, I'm in it deep right now. This is so exciting. You got this. Mm, I might not. I believe in you. I we all believe in you. Yeah, you always believe in me even when I'm wrong. <laughs> but that isn't that nice? No. Come on. Come on. You're like, no, that is not the way this Some is. people need reality checks, and I am one of them. I think you have enough reality. Yeah, I think you do have enough reality. Yeah. See? I'm like... <laughs> I like this not just me saying these things. <laughs> nice things about Rich, I'm shy. It's cute because later he'll be like, thank you, I'm just not good at taking this hell. <laughs> or com com compliments. And then I'm like, man, who are these people in your life before that didn't shower you with compliments all the time? Uh, all the rest of the tabers. Oh, this is what I mean. Okay. <laughs> and the school board. No, That's not funny. Number 24 is by Matias Martinez. A lovely colored glass piece. A vase, in fact. Ruby, do you like Jesse's haircut? Mm-hmm. Want to know what's special about it? You cut your, her hair again? Yeah. <laughs> I need a haircut. Want to do it now? That would make for an On live camera. Read. I don't like being that on That would be amazing. Okay, Jess, do you have my phone or do I have my phone? You have the phone. Here's my phone. You have to text the person that bid on this and tell them I changed it a little. Okay. <laughs> By a little means a lot. Well, there's a few people that have bid on it, so it's fine. Everything's fine. You know what, Rich? You only make things better, so it's not bad. It's not true. I mean, like, I've, it's a Jurassic change. <laughs> I'm funny. I'm way funnier than I look. I'm way funnier than I look. I don't know. That's you pretty funny. funny. <laughs> That's really... All right, I'm going to tell you what? what the best part of my day is. And it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> it's the new Bob Marley album on our turntable that we're... Uh, did you just listen. say Bob Marley? Bob, um, I like Bob Marley, but it's not as Bob Dylan. Yeah, that's what I thought. And, uh... Like, I like Bob Marley. That wasn't Jerry's first book. No, it's, I get it. Yeah. But you're right. It's, uh, Bob It's Dylan. on a Bob Marley record player. It's true. Hmm. But, it's... um, that's what I'm looking forward to is getting home. I, and I think maybe it's one of the things kind of bumming me out, particularly today, is I just want to listen to some music. That's fair. But if somebody at home could tell me they're listening to music, that would cheer me up a lot. Are there bids on this piece? Because it's important to me. It's all, somebody loves it. Yeah, there's bids. Who's bidding? Um, Are they all in the $10 range? No. Oh, what more texts? 
What? We've got more texts. All right, so lovely people. Oh. What? Okay. What? Uh, someone's trying to find the pictures. A lot of people are having, you know, Facebook redoing the format. People are struggling finding the pictures. So I'm just going to be sending. Um, are you when you go to the page and you go to the events page, yeah. when it says if they're on their phone, yeah. um, there's the about button and then the discussion button. Discussion. They have to click discussion. Discussion. Okay. And discussion will take them anywhere they want to go. To the pictures. Okay. Thank discussion you. Discussion will take them anywhere they need to be. Words are important. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Nancy, if you, so Caitlin just explained it really well, I think, and yours, oh, here. Aha! Okay. I'll click, oh. That was exciting. Take a screenshot. just watched a whole thing unfold. Take a screenshot, and I'm going to highlight it. The world just changed. What are some, what's a sea cucumber look like, please? Can you pass me that? Kind of like a pickle. <laughs> what? It's kind of like a pickle. It's just like a long sausage like uh, shape. I'm not going to paint a sea cucumber. Yeah, look, it's not. It won't look like a sea cucumber. It'll look like a cucumber. Yeah, I'm not going to paint that. <laughs> what else is there? More crabs? I'll put some more crabs. You put a lobster in? Oh, a lobster. Uh, you know, it's funny. I know what crabs look like off the top of my head. I don't know what lobsters look like. Crabs with butts. I mean, I can recognize a lobster, but that's a lobster. But I um. You're gonna look it up, and it's gonna be crab with an extra butt. That's kind of what I thought. No, like it's just different when you eat it's sausage with claws. You know what I will say, Jess, is that oh never mind. No, say it. Be like one no, because I was looking and I was scrolling through the pictures, mm -hmm. and I was like, there are two pictures that aren't on here, but my page just didn't load properly, and they are there. Well, that's, that is a, like, if you hit refresh on whatever you're doing on a regular basis, you'll have a better, like, for instance, I might change the overhead picture uh, on the page, and then unless people are, like, clicking refresh, a lot of times they get saved as, like, the, the, the heading that was up six weeks ago or something, so refresh is your friend. Um, what time is it? Okay, I'm gonna be right back. Wait, you're going away? Well, not really, just here. Where are you going? Just here. <sighs> sweet, sweet googly moogly. Do you know what a googly is? What? No. Do you know what a googly is, no. Kevin? What? No. Kevin, do you know what a googly is? A googly? googly? Yeah. Great googly moogly. Like if I you know toss, Google. If you toss a googly. Is I would just my lunch? No, I would say if you toss a googly, you give someone like a side eye. Nope. Oh. Nope. Let's see if we can get one of our visitors to call in. If you have a toque is on the floor, Mel. Text in. I know it was on my head. I took it off. If you can tell me what a googly is, we will give you a gift certificate. Of some surprising amount, maybe will be a good number. Five dollars. Five? No. A Fifty dollar gift certificate. $5. Whoever, but you can't Google it. Google it. You can't Google it. Googly. If I've already guessed and I'm not guessing, can I Google it? Yes. Well, you just can't get the gift certificate. So this is by Larry. Father time, time after time, time and time again, once upon a time, time is relative, velocity equals distance divided by time, biblical time, time zones, time, Larry, there's someone at the door, my love, I'll go time, oh. <laughs> thank you, so this is by Larry, number 25,
don't think anybody put on you, honestly. Uh, kind of an intimidating size person. Me? Yes. Hey, David. Hey, David. Okay. Yeah, the person coming to the door doesn't know that. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! That's why I'm tough. Good statement to share. Hello, David. Hello, Zell. Oh, cool. Hello. I know Hi. you from Education University. You sure do. Yes. Hi, Nola. My mask is all weird. Hi. Are you going to talk? Oh, wow. Here, I'll get out of your way. Am I going to talk? Yeah, come on and talk. Okay. Do the talking. Do the squeezing through. Uh -huh. Can I take my mask off? Yeah, I'll get out of the way and then you can. Yeah, give me my two meters give your space, space, please. Eh? Give me Everybody. my space. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, here. Um, painting. Painting. Um, I'm really interested in the last one I, that you bought for Oliver, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bridges that are disappearing as Inglewood's um, Ninth Avenue is getting destroyed. So I have had this picture of the old steel bridge, but it's kind of mundane. It's underneath. But, um, yeah. So this is, uh, that's Ninth Avenue going across there. And it was the old steel bridge. The Dean House would be across the river from where I'm standing. But yeah, so well, I used to be on my regular route. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm just waiting. Oh, it's, a, it's just a little that tiny oh. little white dot there. If you want to get close, just the to white it. dot. Yeah, hello, white dot. Yeah, you can go there. Okay, you gotta hide. Whole body map. Oh, okay, lucky you. <laughs> I need one of those. <laughs> oh, Count Floyd's House of Beauty Horrors. So yeah, there we go. So that's about it. Oil yeah. on board. Or oil on some product made from uh, sawdust and glue. Beautiful. You're going to be number 26. Oh, what a great number. Right? I Isn't yeah. that a nice number? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. This and is lovely. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Ta -ta. <laughs> this is so different from you. When I was painting. Maybe I'm always different. You are always different. Yeah, maybe it's like, maybe... Uh, it started with a conversation I had with Mark Vasquez is I said, you know, uh, hey, if you were in my class, what would you give me for an assignment? And he's like, uh, I was like, what would I give you? And he's like, uh. and so we decided for the sake of our friendship, we wouldn't, an assignment. Yeah, we wouldn't give each other assignments. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought to myself after he left, because you can't stop me thinking, uh, what would Mark give me? And can't um, stop me thinking. <laughs> um, I realized. We know. <laughs> Probably the assignment I would give myself if I was Mark would be to slow down. You move and too fast. Do something that takes gotta make the a little more concentration. Because I do have a tendency to finish pretty quickly. And um, in this case, do, 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 uh, I've been doing do, some slower. Do, do, do. <laughs> I have to sit down and. Is the soundtrack for you? Like, it's not important what I'm saying, I guess. No, no I know. You're providing soundtrack. I, I always love you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Like, I you, really like. Everybody needs theme music. You had theme music, right? That is my. Theme People music. just imagine, but you actually I got get no it. I no to do, See? no promises to keep. So you need to slow it down. Is what you're saying? What? You need to slow things. This down. was me trying to sit still for a while. There's a lot of work in here. Right, yeah. It's not so fast. There's fast painting and loose painting within yeah, yeah. it. What do you think but of these two in the middle? I, I think they're in trouble. Right. No, it's all hands on deck. They're all fighting on the same war. Oh, well then that case... Everybody here is on teams. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, rock Can you pass me that tube there? It's, uh, it's indigo. Oh, no, it's here. I got it. How many over people? Fifteen people. We're losing people. Well, because I'm slowing down. We're kind of I running. See. What time is it? It's quarter two, so we could okay, actually... Okay, so we're going to shut the yeah. broadcast off, and we will see you in 15 minutes, and we love you so much. Love and you! And when we come back, if you could please share the crap out of this broadcast, that that'd be amazing. Thank you. Yeah. See you in 15 minutes. Sorry.